With your Cougars Rewind, I'm Stephen Williams. Columbus State Softball tried to add to its four-game winning streak on Wednesday as they hosted the Eagles of Carson Newman. In Game 1, Casey Googe broke a scoreless tie in the third inning with her fourth home run of the season. It was all the run support senior Molly Russell would need as she pitched a complete game allowing only a single unearned run in a 2-1 CSU victory. Game 2 began low scoring, but that quickly changed. With the bases loaded in the third, Brittany Hefner crushed a grand slam to put Carson Newman in front 4-0. An inning later, Hefner hit her second home run of the game, this one a three-run shot as the Eagles put four more on the board and led 8-0. CSU wouldn't go away quietly though. The Lady Cougars put seven runs on the board in the bottom of the fourth, including a Cody Ricketts in grand slam and a two-run home run from Corey Waugh. Trailing 8-7, CSU finally jumped in front with four runs in the sixth. Brannigan Wicks drew a walk with the bases loaded to bring in the tying run, and Casey Gooch followed it with a two-run double to give CSU the lead. Kristen Carr finished it off in the seventh as CSU took game two, 11-8. The Lady Cougars are now 14-9 and, and have won six in a row. The Cougar baseball squad traveled to Carrollton Wednesday for their second meeting with West Georgia. The Wolves jumped out in front with two runs in the bottom of the first inning. Columbus State got the two runs back though in the third when J.D. Pullen hit his first career home run to tie the game. West Georgia put two more runs up in the third and fourth innings and led 6-2 after four. In the fifth, CSU hit another two-run home run, this one by Brett Teschner. Each team would add one more run over the final four frames, but it wouldn't be enough for CSU as they fell 7-5 and dropped to 9-11 overall. Playing their second matches in as many days, the Columbus State tennis teams traveled to America's for non-conference showdowns with Georgia Southwestern. The sixth-ranked women's team took care of business, shutting out Georgia Southwestern 8-0. The Lady Cougars lost just five games total in three doubles matches and lost no more than three games in any set of the five singles matches. They kept their record perfect, improving to 10-0. The seventh-ranked men's team didn't shut out Georgia Southwestern but cruised to an 8-1 victory. The only losing match for CSU happened at first doubles, but the Cougars took every match after that. The CSU men are now 9-1 for the season. Today marks the start of big things at Columbus State. The Peach Belt Conference Tournament starts at 1 o'clock with the women's quarterfinal matches inside the Lumpkin Center. The Lady Cougars will play in the final game scheduled for 7 p.m. against 25th ranked USC Aiken. CSU is the only team to have participated in all 22 Peach Belt Conference Tournaments. Other games today include Augusta State versus North Georgia at 1, Flagler versus Montevallo at 3, and Armstrong versus number 1 Clayton State at 5. The games will all be broadcast through the PBC's Ustream feed. Also on campus today, the Lady Cougars softball team hosts Ohio Dominican in a doubleheader beginning at 2 o'clock. CSU defeated Ohio Dominican 6-0 last Friday in the Mid-South Classic in South Carolina. Stay up to date on the latest in Columbus State Athletics on Facebook at facebook.com slash CSU Cougars and on Twitter by following at CSU Cougars.